everybody, I'm the Reluctant Reviewer. QP83. In the house. In the house, yes. <laughs> um, another video I recently did, I showed you a Holy Grail item that is, was in really, still really good condition, only missing a few things. This is another Holy Grail item, but when I got it, it was about this bad and it keeps getting progressively worse each as years go by. So this is the Barbie and Ken Little Theater which came out in uh, 1964 and this is something that I wanted when I was little because I was five so I really wanted this and I wanted yeah, the cool. costumes and <sighs> this is another one of those things I was in the right place at the right time but if I'd been there a couple hours earlier it might not have been in the garbage can where they took <laughs> it out to give it to me for free <laughs> So there was a yard sale and she was only about uh, in second grade I believe and we were walking to school or coming back from school I can't remember anymore and there was a yard sale and I guess if I had gone to this yard sale in the morning the lady had vintage Barbies that she was selling so by the time I got there so it must have been after school uh, she had already sold out of everything but she said oh I have this one piece nobody wanted and she went into her garbage and she pulled this out um, and so it, it's a true story. <laughs> All right, so we'll open this up. It has a lot of tape on it, and I can tell you from experience that this is great, this cardboard, but it doesn't hold the tape really well anymore. I would love a nice laminated front. Does somebody have a beautiful laminated front that I could just create this all over again? So That'd we're gonna, nice. We're gonna open it up, but I love, I love the front. It's the theater. It's got the statuette right there on the wall. It's got the ticket booth. It's got the signage. It's got the doorway. It is so cool. It's got the tragedy and the comedies. It is. Like, photos <sighs> it would be really cool like if this was in better shape and like could stand on its own it would be really cool for photos it would so I need one of these <laughs> so if we open it up can you grab this you can see I mean you can look and you'll see it's not a good good visualization of it but it is some kind of visualization of it and every time I've moved, I've dragged it with me, and it gets a little more messed up. But there is something that's still in great shape, and I'll show you that later. So there's your audience, which is really cool. I think it's cool that you have the audience. And I was able to put most of it together once, one year I was. Okay, so we have the wings. This is the goofy part that goes underneath the stage. Kind of like your your this is your no, stage. This is your stage. stage. This is your stage. Okay. So never could quite figure out how that was supposed to go. This is the curtain, which still has the string on it. So this is the lift bar. So the curtain will still work. That's pretty cool. And then this, here we go. You hold this. Curtain. I do have the instructions for this too. Okay, so this goes underneath. And it's supposed to sit up a little bit. This is supposed to go back here. Well, Whoa. this should probably sit on top of this, right. right? Like that? But I don't remember how anymore. Yeah, it goes like that somehow. And then you hold the string, and what you did was you took a needle and you actually put the string through the curtain to get this to set up. Ah. So we're not going to worry about that right now. So you have a curtain still. You have the top, which went like here to here. And it went, move that right there. And then it went like that. But like I said, it's in really bad shape. So um, we're not even going to worry about that part. But if you look at the sides, the stage the door stage is right door. here, which was designed to open apparently. Unless that was someone something no. someone cut. No, that that could go through. And it came with a booklet. And I have the booklet Yay! because that was in the garbage with it. <laughs> so if we put this down, see every time I move it crinkles a little bit more. 
I love your cardboard, but <laughs> chipboard. Chipboard. All right, so if we put this down, what we have, we have that that has to go back in. What it did come with that I still have, and I keep them in a frame <laughs> just because I don't want them to get damaged. What I want is to be able to do a great big backdrop and take a big beautiful picture, but you need a flatbed scanner and somebody that will say, don't worry about it, we won't wreck it as we put it through. Or they, they, they don't have a big enough flatbed scanner. They have one that rolls through and they look at me and go, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> so I keep it in a frame and we, <laughs> so we really need good photographs of them and they are double-sided. So cool, right? They're very artistically done, like there's detail in them. The forest and the castle. And I know people have made big giant backdrops of them for conventions and stuff. I would like to know how they did it. And I, I don't think if I try to take a picture of it, I'll worry about the glare on it or the lighting won't be quite right or something. And I don't think it'll work. But I think we'll try eventually. Because these are so cool. This is the only one that has a tear on it. Oh, is that a tear? It blends yeah, in rather well. It's a tear. Tear by the fireplace. And that came like that though. And then there's the Arabian. The Arabian Nights. Okay, so we also have the wings that go with these. This goes with the Arabian Nights and it tells you stage left, stage right. And then if we turn it on the other side, we get the cottage. So you have the door for the cottage and the rest of the cottage that's gonna be on the wings. And then we have the castle wing and, oh. and the um, ballroom wing. So this is the castle wing. So are we missing one the of the ballroom those? wing? We're probably missing a castle, a castle in the ballroom. Let's see. And then one of the trees, right? Yeah. There's We're a tree. The left no, stage see. left of the ballroom and this is just a tree. It's not stage left or stage right. It's just right. added tree. Just a tree. So we're missing... Actually, it might show us on the booklet. Um, it came with... Go buy your handy dandy little encyclopedia of Barbie doll family and friends licensed products 1961 to 1971 because it really shows you everything that came with a playset. Yes. So it shows you here. Three sets of two-sided scenery side pieces. So that's it on those. So, well, the castle. Ooh, this looks like two trees. This is the castle. Like? Ball. This uh, is that's that tree. One, two, the three. That actually looks like all of them then. Not all of them have wings. Okay. So we have these, which are really, really cool. And what I'm missing besides a good foundation on it is um, the, uh, all the, the scripts, props. all the scripts. props, <laughs> all the props. I believe it came with scripts. I know it came with tickets. This is, I would love unpunched or punched yeah. parts to go with this. Um, it's just not going to hold up anymore. And I keep telling my husband, maybe you could put cardboard, uh, not cardboard, wood behind it or something so it has some stability, but he was never mm -hmm. able to figure out how to do it. So, uh, it's still got a lot of good parts to it, and it has the instructions and tells you how to put it together, and I always thought if we could just make those pieces onto wood and then yeah. glue the other parts to it, maybe we could put it back together again. So, even if you go past <laughs> a yard sale and they closed up and they had good stuff, they might still have good stuff and then throw Check it in the garbage. Trash can. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd show it to you. I keep it around and drag it with me everywhere, but there are so many cool parts to it that I really mm -hmm. adore that are really good for backdrops. So if you know, uh, if you've seen like reproductions of these pieces, let us know just in case, you know, maybe someone has already done all the work and photographed these things. Yeah, because they're just going to go back into that frame. <laughs> yes, 
I, mean, I would love to start using them again. But we just But she's petrified to touch them, so <laughs> it's no, don't get a nick on them. No, 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 don't put any damage on them. Because those pieces are still in really, really good shape. This is so, a really cool set though, if you do see it, definitely check it out because it is very neat. And it's it's hit or miss. If you go on eBay, you really don't how, know how it smells. You really don't know every little bit of it, how much water damage it yeah. has on it. It's nice when you can actually see it in person or if somebody just hands it to you out of the garbage for free. <laughs> because then it's okay, I'm not it's that very picky. Cool. I'm not that picky. Uh, but I can see the tape is already starting to come off again. So. Yeah. Or if you know a better way of fixing it, let me know. Mm -hmm. So that's what I wanted to show you and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.